that's that for you. Hi, welcome to 10 Minute Talk Show. I'm your host, Derek Forgy. This is the talk show that is 10 minutes in length. That's Molly Davis right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I may have a sliver. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, paramedics are standing by. We have a very, we're, this budget is bloated. You have no idea. Uh, yeah, it's like, he's going to get slivers. We should have a paramedic standing by. Hey, welcome to the new year. It's a new year. It's a new time. So we're starting off the year with a special. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the Kiss of Ginger Day orange stravaganza, folks. Boom. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Kiss of Ginger Day is an anti-bullying holiday that's on January 12th every year. So we have all red-headed guests, just bespeckled people, the whole show. That's all we got, the whole time, myself included. Uh, I mean, you will work on your bespeckledness, but I... You know what? Don't change a thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> But first, Stephen Hawking news. That's why you came here, so obviously I'll get to that. Uh, Stephen Hawking has calculated that we have approximately a thousand years left as humans. That's what we have left if we keep consuming the resources. That sounds bad, <laughs> but it really isn't. Uh, when uh, when uh, George Trump, uh, George Trump is not a person at all. Uh, thankfully, George W. Bush and Donald Trump together, that would be awful. I'm glad that I'm mistaken. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for the boo. Uh, when Donald Trump heard about this, his, his confidence said, you know what, I can whittle that down to a good 10. 10 years, so that's good. Yeah, I think he can do it. I think a decade is all he needs to shorten our lifespan. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? If this is really the end of days, is this really, if this is really the end of us as humanity, if this is really the last thousand years we have together, you know what? This changes everything. I'm going to hang on to my DVD copy of Chronicles of Riddick. You know what? I'm going to wait you out, Blockbuster. Your move. <laughs> oh, that is a better movie. You're right. I wish I just snagged that one. Uh, so let's get to your first guest. You feel about the, good about that as a people? Yeah. I thought you'd say that. I thought you would. Uh, he is the star and creator of the wonderfully popular show Ginger Nation, which enjoyed an incredible run in Toronto, in Halifax, in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in Scotland. Sold out show, standing room only, wonderful reviews. His name is Sean Hitchens. Sean Hitchens! Hey! Hello, sir. What? What's going on? I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to do yeah. Howie Mandel because I'm Jeremy and gross. I feel like we're about to do a mirroring exercise. Just like <laughs> yes, this is very theatrical. Yeah, very and uh, you're like a handsomer version of me. So this is oh. sort of what's... Uh, <laughs> they turned on me. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> I don't know uh, what happened there. I, that I, made I, them very uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, I'm not I sure know. why. <laughs> theatrical exercises make people very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> okay. So how you been, for God's sake? I'm good. It, it occurs to me the very first sort of ginger-centric event I ever did was about 10 years ago, and yeah. you were at it. So look at us. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Here we are, a decade later. Yeah, I think I think I was wearing like a green shirt that day. I don't know why I remember that, but that like, sounds like something you I would think do. We were all wearing green shirts. It was we, at the it's a thing. The we Irish do. pub. It's a weird, quirky bylaw. You yeah. have to wear green shirts, uh, and it's been purple recently, as you'll see later in the show. Yeah. Ah, I'm uh, foreshadowing. Uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, your show is monstrously successful. You had a great run in Europe and in Canada. Yeah. And uh, and then I have my goofy little kids ginger day holiday. So we're enjoying some kind of ginger centric success to some degree. Yeah. Now, what do you think that is? Why are we so uh, connected? Why are we so enthusiastic as, a, as an orange people? I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. I was just sort of being uh, arrogant and saying like, oh, I'm going to go over there and march hundreds of redheads through Scotland and call it Ginger Pride. And then I was just like, nobody's showing up. And then it became a worldwide sort of thing. I know. It's crazy. And ended up on CNN and BBC World Service and yeah. other things like that. And then I sort of enjoyed like three, four years of being a ginger expert. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'm constantly just making shit yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not, I like saw I, that. Yeah. I saw, I saw that. I, I forget what it was, but yeah. I saw that. And now we have ginger expert, Sean Hitches. I'm like, what? what? Is, I know. is he have a diploma for this? I know. He, he's good at this, but that's a weird thing I have, have one qualification. <laughs> that, that, that's it. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, at what point in your life, if ever, did you find that the, the redheaded thing went from being maybe a bad thing in, in your adolescence to being a good thing in adult life. Would that happen at all for you? No, no, I think it's... A <laughs> <laughs> See, this was Fair the enough. whole thing about being like a ginger expert. I like, was just like, everyone's like, how was it being bullied? And I was like, I wasn't bullied for having red hair. I was bullied for being a really gay kid. <laughs> like, like, it's a perfect like storm, the, really. Yeah, but like now, now I'm more worried about it because I'm starting to lose my hair and my entire identity is like 
Where, is where they, exactly? Well, it's just at like all? every day I look at it and I'm just like, oh, there goes my whole gig. There goes, <laughs> <laughs> there goes my life. Well, if that's my the case, career. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the case, just lean on being very gay, as you mentioned. Yeah, earlier. yeah. But the okay. weird, oh, okay, here, okay. Yeah, so I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, so the weird thing that happened was that as soon as I started calling myself a ginger comedian, people would be like, oh, you're no longer a gay comedian. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, this is how that's it works. <laughs> I drummed over. Like, you can only be one minority can, at one, a time. Only, one only <laughs> Next year you're gonna be Korean. All right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how just that goes. It's a weird thing. Over. You don't want to be one thing at a time. I don't know. Yeah. Th they're not on my side at all. This year. Yeah. <laughs> they're well, not on my side. With Trump, uh, we'll <laughs> be thank Korean. you, Molly. Okay, you ready for your, your ten quick questions? Yeah. It's ten quick questions. Let's do this. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. All right. All right. So here's how this works. Very quickly, I, I fire ten rapid fire questions on you. Molly arbitrarily decides if you're right or wrong, and if you get enough questions right, don't overthink it. The whole audience is going home with gingerbread cookies. Ha ha. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Okay. All right. Question number one. What nickname do I? I dislike more red dwarf or ginger shrimp a uh, ginger shrimp correct yes. <laughs> true or false simply red is a licensed nanny false that is not true apparently he has a license oh, okay we, right. we didn't research this at all okay. i'm not sure okay. uh mars is called the red planet give it a sexier nickname uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh ball of awesomeness <laughs> I'm failing at apparently. I thought it was the right, pressure, but Molly the says. Pressure. <laughs> Would you rather eat only Mars bars for one month every day or get mandatory deep tissue massages every hour for two weeks? Oh, is there an option to do both? <laughs> no! <laughs> Good answer. Julianne Moore or Emma Stone, who gives better foot rubs? Julianne Moore. Correct. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> if Emma Stone did a sequel to Easy A, what would it be called? Oh, Easy G. <laughs> <laughs> we also would have accepted Tricky B or Easier A. Oh, okay. All right. Based on a novel pushed by Sapphire. All right. Uh, if you stuck for if you stacked forty cans of Schweppes and three Conan O'Briens, what appears to be taller? Uh, the cans. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Name a Weasley brother nobody knows. Uh. Oh, Fred? Is there a Fred? No, that is one. Oh, oh, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> There's like four of them, five of them, and you pick, there's like a thousand They names. all look the same. You are so stressed about this. <laughs> you are taking it way too seriously. I right. know. <laughs> two more questions before you have a cardiac arrest. Two more questions. Uh, what's more expensive to do in a studio apartment in Vancouver? Put in carpeting or hang drapes? Hang drapes. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and finally, na uh, your favorite punchline to a salty or off-color joke. Uh, if you ask me to sculpt a penis, I could chisel it in soapstone blindfolded with my teeth. Oh. Hell yeah. Yes. That was strong. <laughs> After the show, we're going to get the first part of that joke. Because <laughs> I desperately want to know. It's Sean Hitchens, everybody. Oh. Love him. Oh, that was so stressful. Elbows again. There you go. Right, Boom. Right. Right. <laughs> it's so very good. So good. Uh, yeah, so just go check out Ginger Nation. Do yourself a favor. So I'd like to bring out your uh, final bespeckled guest of the show. I feel like you're going to be okay with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I recommend you go to his uh, Twitter account and go follow him there. He's delightful, he's talented, he's funny, and he's also painfully tall. <laughs> Please welcome Billy Weekend! Billy! Oh, shoot! What do we do? Okay, I'll move here. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome. Guys, it's 2016. You know what that's not? It's 2017, actually. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. I mean, I'm still in that period of adjustment where you think it's weird that it's this year. Yeah. For me, that usually lasts about half the year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do, we get, do you guys feel ever feel like, like your friends are bragging by just mentioning like basic adult skills? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like uh, the other day, my buddy mentioned uh, cleaning. <laughs> okay, what do you? What was that after you were calling your mom while flossing, talking about recycling? Jesus, what is, <laughs> <laughs> what is the standard? <laughs> If you go to McDonald's and you order something not on the dollar menu, you don't get me, you know? You don't understand my reality, right? Do you usually know what day it is? <laughs> We're leading different lives, you know? If you've never woken up covered in sweat that is not your own, <laughs> we're not gonna see eye to eye, you know? <laughs> If you know exactly how many times you've gotten high in the last day, <laughs> you've got more information than me, you know? 
If you've never thrown up on a stranger for money, Somebody in the audience just, uh, I'm pretty sure, had an orgasm after that joke. I think that's what happened. Folks, I don't think I'm going to do better than that. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs> Billy Wiegand, I love here. Billy Wiegand. Uh, if you would like to attend the show, we would love to have you. It's fun, right? It's fun. Enjoy this. Please email us. <laughs> <laughs> Please email us at 10minuteaudience at gmail.com. I bid you a very happy Kiss of Ginger Day. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. Happy New Year and good night! <laughs>